So why is clinical response such a valuable metric? And we, clinical response is, is such a valuable metric uh, because it really provides us with several cues in clinical practice. So when you look at the CAP guidelines for community-acquired um, community pneumonia, uh, when someone's clinically stable, um, this is a time point if they are receiving IV drugs to consider oral therapy. And furthermore, this is a time when you would consider discharging a patient from a hospital. So really, when we think about this time, the clinical response, we really think it's a surrogate for getting patients on oral who are not on um, oral therapy, as well as getting them out of the hospital. So the one thing people always say is, well, why don't you just do length of stay comparisons in clinical trials? Um, these are programmatic trials. Um, there's a fixed duration of therapy. Um, many of the sites who enroll patients are outside the United States. And usually what they do is they keep these patients in the hospital, you know, past their end of treatment, even though they're responders. So really, when we look at length of stay in clinical trials, you know, you, it's really kind of artificial. Rather, I think the better thing to do is look at time to clinical response, um, which is more indicative of when a patient, you know, can be put on oral therapy and when they can be discharged home.